So today I am going to be sharing with you my first trimester of pregnancy update. Um, and the way that I'm going to do it, I think, is I'm going to do my first trimester video this week and then next week do weeks 14 to 20 and then do weeks 21 and 24 and then 25 and 26 and then I'll be on track. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not 100% sure, but, um, but I think that's how it's going to go. That way I can kind of get up to date and then be on track. So, starting with my first trimester, it was awful. I'm just going to put that right out there. It was awful. Um, we found out the end of September, beginning of October. And it was like the day after we found out, I was immediately sick. It was crazy. And I had been, back, let's backtrack a little bit actually. So before we even found out, I just all of a sudden became exhausted all of the time. Like could not sleep enough to the point where I would come home from work at 6 and I would be sitting on the couch and we'd be watching house and eating dinner because that's typically our evening routine. We come home, we eat dinner, and we watch house. I would be sitting, I didn't check the time. Okay, I still have an hour before Grey's Anatomy comes on. Um, but I would be sitting at the, I'd eat dinner and then I'd be sitting on the couch and I would just put my, like, put my hand on my, put my, like, chin on my hand and just fall asleep. And DJ would be like, babe, wake up. Sorry, sorry, I'm so tired. And it was to the point where I was probably going to bed, I would say, at about 9 o'clock at night. And when I was, when my alarm would go off at 7 o'clock to wake up, I would hit every single alarm until 7.45. Um, and the 7.45 alarm is the get up right this second. You can brush your teeth and put clothes on. You have no time for makeup or hair or anything else. You gotta go. Um... But somehow I always managed to have lunch prepared, like have my lunch, like make my lunch and um, brush my teeth. But my hair was not done for those couple of weeks at all. Um, it was just in a bun on the top of my head. I did not try. There was no point. Um, I'd be at work like half asleep, like a zombie, and everyone's like, Megan, what's your, what's wrong? Like I'm just so tired, just so tired, like. And I would tell them, like, I went to bed at 9 o'clock last night. I'm exhausted. They'd be like, girl, you better get that checked out. Well, then, end of September, beginning of October, we found out. Um, and we, um, yeah, so, like, literally the next day, I was extremely sick. Um, and I, it didn't start off like with me being really sick. It started like I was a little nauseous, sick to my stomach, but I could still pretty much eat. And then it got really bad. And when I say really bad, I mean to the point where I couldn't keep anything down. I couldn't even keep water down for three days. And um, so I called my doctor, you know, because as soon as I found out, I found a doctor and called them because I didn't have one um, and I called them and scheduled an appointment well then when I couldn't keep anything down and it was day three I called them and I was like listen <laughs> I would I don't know what to do I have not been able to keep a single thing down for the past three days I can't even drink water and they're like that's not good um let us have our nurse call you back and I was like okay so nurse calls me back and she's like, so tomorrow I have a 7 a.m. and a 2.15. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's DJ's day off. Let's do 2.15 because he would kill me if I made him get up at 6 o'clock in the morning on his only day off for that week to go to the doctor. And he was working in different jobs so he had Tuesday off um, that week. So I immediately called him at work and I was like, babe, tomorrow, 2.15, I have a doctor's appointment to get me not being sick all the time. And he was like, okay. So we, <coughs> excuse me, 
went to the doctor. They were like, yeah, you're a little dehydrated, but not enough to be hospitalized. Here's some medication so you don't puke anymore. Um, and so it was Zofran, and I took, I think it's like, was one every, um, or it was two a day, so once in the morning, once at night. And it helped a lot. Um, I didn't have an appetite, but I wasn't getting sick all the time. And I was still, I was eating, but it was like little things here and there that I would be eating. Um, toast was a staple. Ramen noodles was a staple. Um, and they're, those aren't typically really good for you. I just like scratched my pillow. That kind of hurt my fingernail. Um, bananas. I just was eating very, like rice, just plain food is what I was eating because my stomach it didn't feel it didn't feel good but I wasn't throwing up so that was good um and then my little sister had to swim me out in a neighboring town and in that town we have a PF Chang's and so that was mine and DJ's first date and so we decided that after we went and saw her swim we would go to PF Chang's for lunch well, we ended up only getting to see her last swim because I had to work. Um, and the way that, like, I got out, and as we were driving, like, they were preparing, like, she was, her, like, heat was next, and we were, like, 20 minutes away. Somehow we managed to make it three minutes before she swam, before, like, her heat came. Um, we got there, and we sat down, and then <laughs> she swam. Um, and so, I wanted to spend time with them, and so did he. Spend time with my mom and my sister, so we decided that we would treat them to P.F. Chang's for dinner, or for lunch. And the whole time, now, first of all, I hadn't really eaten much of anything, and second of all, I forgot my medication at home, which I usually had it in my purse, but I switched purses that day totally spaced it and forgot my pill forgot my pills so I did not have them and yeah I had to think about that for a second yeah I did not have them I took one before we left or I took one in the morning but then I went to work and I totally spaced on having him bring them to me like bring them when he picked me up so we go to P.F. Chang's and I was in and out of the bathroom probably four times just because the smells were making me so sick to my stomach. I didn't actually get sick at P.F. Chang's, but I just felt so sick. It was the worst feeling in the entire world. Um, and because it's like you see all this yummy, delicious food and you're supposed to be like, oh my God, give it all to me now. And I was like, this was the worst idea in the entire world. But we hadn't told our families yet. So my mom had no idea. So I had to, like, just pretend like I was good. Like I just had an upset stomach that day or whatever. Um, so then they bring us our food. And I took maybe two bites of my entire meal. We actually, we got the um, chicken lettuce wraps or the chicken lettuce cup things first. And those are, like, my all-time favorite, favorite from P.F. Chang's. My mom even makes them homemade sometimes. Um, and every time she does, even though I don't live with her anymore, she always makes sure to send me enough to have a little snack um, for them, with them. But I ate a lot of them. And I should not have. And then my food came and I was like, oh my god, get me out of here now. I'm going to be so sick. And just watching my family eat, I was just like, oh, I can't do this. Well, we packed everything up, and they went home, and we went home. My food did not make it in the door. And our leftovers sat in the fridge for a week. And it got to the point where I could not open the fridge anymore because it smelled, and I just... Because we saved them, because I was like, oh, I'm going to eat it. It's delicious. No, it was a waste of $80. Um, cause if you've been to PF Chang's, 
poor people eating. It's about 80, it's like 80 bucks. So, all that money right down the drain. And it was, um, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> and then, after that I did not forget my medication again. No, no, no. And then, um, it was like as soon as first, first trimester was over, done. I was done being sick. Like I didn't take Zofran anymore. Like I was golden. Um, but one thing that I noticed is Joey, my dog, started being real weird towards me. Like he would, like he wouldn't lay by me. And if he did, because when we sleep, he has to be touching both of us. Well, he started putting his butt to me, which he had never really done before, unless he was mad at me. And then he would lay down, and when he would go to lay down, if I was facing towards, like, the middle of the bed instead of facing out, if I was facing inward, um, he would throw his butt into my stomach. Um, and... He would like step on my stomach and DJ would always yell at him like, Joey, stop, stop it. You can't walk on her. And so he, he's always been super protective of me, but now it's even more so. Um, he's so sweet. But so Joey was a tyrant. Um, he also peed on the floor, just like stared directly at me and would pee on the floor. And it's because he was jealous. Because um, he knew what was going on. He just... I read this thing somewhere um, that says, Dogs know when you're pregnant. They just don't know how many puppies you're going to have. Um, and I think that's so cute. And I hope he's going to love the baby. I hope so. But that's really all that happened for my first trimester. Like,